Hi, I'm Rogue, and welcome to Two Point Hospital. So last time, we'd actually um, created the doctor's surgeries, the ward, the general diagnostics, toilet block, staff room, and a dispensary. Let's see what's in store for us today. We've got some email. We need to get a deluxe clinic. And here's a deluxe. That is a three, three. So we'll put that one there. With a door there. Put the deluxe machine there. Control panel there. Along with a bin here fire extinguisher here and potty plant there okay what we're going to do is put a seat on the outside so any patients waiting go there and put an information stand there and I think that requires a doctor who has come over. Because while that doctor's there, it means we've got patients here waiting, so let's get another doctor. <clears throat> yeah, definitely a little lighter I did that. Staff promotion again. Let's take it up again to there. Keep them happy, but not too happy. Maintenance announcement. Plants need water. He looks happy with that, Ed. Dear Hospital Administrator, congratulations, your hospital has been awarded a one star rating. That's one out of a possible three by the Two Point Health Ministry. I have retrieved your file from my bin to celebrate. Continue to develop your enterprise in Hogsport for further esteem and trinkets. If you believe that you are capable, we'll more certainly run before you can walk and begin to expand your organisation by developing a new hospital in Lower Bollocks. The choice is yours, as they say. Yours. Tarquin Foxbridge. And we've got 170 kudos points. Your doctors have discovered a new illness, bogwarts, a rather disgusting skin condition caused by filthy toilets. It can be cured with an expensive cocktail of drugs carefully prepared in the pharmacy or with witchcraft. 
we'll send the patient for treatment in our pharmacy. That receptionist is missing once again. A fair dose, he's putting some stuff in the bin, I think. And doing his favourite dance. Profit's a bit down, but not too bad. He's going to die any minute. He died of bed face. Sad news, our first patient death. Patients can die if the treatment fails or if they're waiting too long and their health deteriorates. The hospital reputation will suffer as a result. There's also a chance the patient will return to haunt the hospital if this happens. You will need a janitor with ghost capture qualifications. When a patient dies, sometimes a part of them remains the most terrifying part. Sadly, this can be quite upsetting for those of us still clinging on to life. Not only that, but ghosts are messy blighters leaving trails of ectoplasm. They will also leave, uh, they will also have a habit of dematerializing and popping up elsewhere. Who should we call? A janitor with a ghost capture qualification, of course. They are fully trained with the latest auto psychic ghost suction technology. In future, we might be able to harvest the spiritual matter for use in our, by our research team. Nice. After all of that, what we need is Jason Tart. Ghostbuster Extreme. Oh, we got another death. Now taking applications for a new PA announcer. I'm not surprised with that, Ed. It looks like Frankenstein. Okay, we're giving his P rise because we make a bit of profit here. Happy worker is a productive worker, as they say. Oop. The annual award ceremony. Oh yeah, we got that one. Right. Two out of two so far. Oh. I know them. They started out in the shed. Yep. Play of the uh the next one we're not gonna get. I doubt we'll get the patient choice awards. Nah. Three out of eight. Not bad for a first year. I seem to remember a game very similar to this a few years ago. Wow.
part of me keeps saying this is a rework of it. Seem to remember similar things happening in it, such as the presenter not talking, etc., etc. Yeah, we'll take those light-headed people in. They can float on down to Deluxe. Where are they? We've got no ambulance bay. How are they going to get here? Well, there's one, two, three. Wow, four. Oh, okay. You do realize the back seat's only meant for two. I think what we need to do is put some more seating for bench. Yeah. And yeah. I think what we'll have is a hand sanitizer. I'm gonna start putting some hand sanitizers around the hospital. Especially next to the doctors, like that next to the wards, like that and there as well. That and there as well. Prevention is better than cure. VIP. Okay, so he's getting on with the deluxe in there. So let's see about a little bit of decoration. I think the doctor's surgery is sure. Should all look the same. Customize. Oh, right. I'm going to need some kudos to do that. Where's that receptionist gone again? I think what we need to do is really put in a second assistant. Kendall Legend. There you go. Get on with work. Should be tasteful and above board. 
Uh, everything seems to be going quite swimmingly at the moment. Is swimmingly is the right word. Oop, see? As soon as I open my mouth, somebody has to go over and kill over and die. Paramedics. Prop him up. Wheel him out. Okay. I think he was um, scared. And another death coming. We ought to do something about these deaths. Whoop, health inspection. Henry Jobsworth, the county's foremost health and safety inspector, has informed us that he'll be visiting us for an inspection soon. Mr. Jobsworth asks that we'll recognise him by his yellow helmet as well as his face. He'll be arriving soon. A good report would help our reputation. Impress the VIP with a nice hospital. And no dead bodies, probably. Great, we cured five out of those seven patients. And another death. What's he wanting? Oh, he's looking for work. Is this his car? Is that Madam Jobsworth? No. Where are you, Jobsworth? Ah. Just a helmet with a moustache. How are you supposed to recognise that? I have no idea. He had to die while the health inspector's here. Quick, shuffle him away. Hide him. Put a plot of plant on him. He's got a fascination with delving in the bottom of bins. And taking rubbish with him. Oi, bring back our rubbish. And he gave a thumbs up for something. Watch him, he's going to steal your rubbish. Not health inspector. A bin man pretending to be a health inspector. I think, being as we've got two receptions, receptionists, it might actually be worth building a second reception alongside. Maybe like that. Well, maybe not. 
Let's take that to there like that. Leave that one there. They seem to be more or less. Right, that's it. Ooh, inspection report. Mr. Jobsworth has sent us a report from his recent visit. It's 30 pages, so we haven't read it. But the conclusion reads, one of our county's better medical destinations, designed to be a favourite of the sickly enthusiast we in the know. Well done. An encouraging report from an influential figure in county healthcare. We've got 5,000 books and 8 rep and... 10 kudos points and that's the point we're going to leave it until next time thank you for watching if you enjoyed this leave a like and subscribe and bye for now